She was one of the most recorded artists in history, with thousands of songs to her name. The voice of the silver screen, Lata Mangeshka was a Bollywood playback singer. In Indian musicals, where actors rarely sing themselves, her vocals were dubbed over generations of leading ladies. She began singing when she was a young girl and grew into a megastar. With hit after hit, she defined the sound of the nation, famously moving Prime Minister Nehru to tears during one live performance. Singing in multiple languages, Lata Mangeshka earned the nickname India's Nightingale, seen here with her sister Asha Bosle, also a well-known recording artist. Lata Mangeshka continued making music well into her 80s. Composer Shamir Thunden was one of the last people to work with her. She has defined the music industry in the seven and a half or decades that she has been uh, singing, uh, because that's a lot for any human to be able to sing because I don't think anywhere in the globe there has been any vocalist who's sung consistently for seven, seven and a half decades. Lata Mangeshka's voice echoed well beyond here, her home city of Mumbai. In many ways, Bollywood songs are a universal language, transcending religious and political divides. And in that sense, Lata Didi, as she was known, spoke to millions of people around the world at times of love and loss hope and happiness. Lata Mangeshka celebrated her 90th birthday in 2019 and joined Instagram, sharing these photos. In one of her last interviews to the BBC Asian Network, she talked about reaching that milestone. I've reluctantly accepted I'm old, she said, but I feel like I'm 25. Her voice was ever youthful it was one of a kind. If Bollywood is the soul of India, then Lata Mangeshka was its beating heart. That's Lata Mangeshka, who has died at the age of 92.